Hello there everybody, my name is Michael, and today I am playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo GameCube. In this video, I will go through the first part of Chapter 2, The Great Bogly Tree. These are the boggly woods. They sure look boggling. Oh, I've got butterflies. Um, okay, just a bit further and we should be able to see the great tree. The elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister too. Come on, let's go. So yeah, let's go. guys remember these characters? These are the three Shadow Sirens. They were hired to assassinate Mario. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. Hmm, Vivian, for shame. Picking up a necklace you found on the ground? Disgusting. Greedy. What? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous! I don't have that thing! You were in charge of it! You wretched little worm! Go! Go! Oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf! Save your games for later! Now, now, where was I? Yo, Vivian, don't tell me you lost our precious sketch! But listen, I... look, it's not my fault, I never had the sketch! Silence, you bits! Such impudence! How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child! It's clear to me that the only rationale your type understands is FORCE! So, for your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but, Zelda, oh, you're horrid. Well, those are the, uh, Shadow Sirens, everybody. Fortunately, they lost the picture of Mario, so they don't recognize Mario. The oldest sister is really, really mean to poor Vivian. And we have some enemies here. Um, I don't like those enemies. The Piranha Plant enemies. They keep on appearing in front of Mario no matter where Mario goes. So you sort of have to walk in a serpentine fashion in order to avoid those enemies. Clearly I was unable to do it, but that's how you avoid those enemies. Right. Let's just tattle those enemies and then run away. In the previous video, I went to level 50 of the Pit of 100 Trials, so Mario is at a high level. He's at about level 10, so he technically should be much stronger than those enemies. Unfortunately, he's not. 
Mario still has one attack power and zero defense, so the enemies can very easily just destroy him. Sure, he's got a lot of HP, but that's basically the only thing Mario has going for him at this point. He is still rather weak compared to all the enemies he's meeting. So now we can't get inside. Yeah, how are we going to get through the locked door? Got it! Cuneo, um, what do you have? Cuneo? Cuneo, what's going on, Cuneo? Long ago, the puny under, I mean, long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get through there. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, the problem is, I don't know how to find it. Flurry. Flurry, Madam Flurry, is a character who can help us get to the hidden entrance. Flurry right now. Yes, here she is. Ah, these woods are the most wonderful thing in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. This place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace. It soothes my body and soul. Ah, uh, but Madame Flurry is craving adventure. Fortunately, our hero Mario is on an adventure, so Flurry can join up with him. So there's a problem with Flurry. We will find out about this problem in just a moment when we actually go visit her. If we head straight in this direction, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. All you have to do is go to the right, and you will eventually meet Madame Flurry. Alright, thanks for the hints, Goombella. She's saying we have to go through this area. Oh hey! A badge! Nice! So we go through that area so we can hit the switch, so we can paper airplane our way through this challenge. Barely, barely see it, but there's an item here on the left. It's a Shine Sprite. A very well-hidden Shine Sprite. And we have another item here. Oh, whoops. 
I guess I'll get it on my uh, way back. An item there, and I think another hidden item over here. Yeah, hidden items are everywhere. Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last, you poor dear. Is there something you need? Well, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am. The great tree's entry hole is blocked by a door. My friends are inside, so they're in a pickle. And Mario needs the crystal stars. It's a train wreck. We need you to find the secret entrance. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? You know I'd do anything to help you, but I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Gee, is something wrong? I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I'd be scandalized if someone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace. Yeah, wasn't there somebody else in this area who found a necklace? Yeah, Mario is super. Can I do it? Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> Great, it's decided then. We'll go find it. So now we have to go all the way back through the woods in order to meet with these characters. Feldum, I told you! Blaming me for losing the sketch, and you had it! Silence, you twit! Now's not the time to get hung up on stupid little details. We have to study this sketch. Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly! Check out that bushy mustache! How handsome! Ah! He's Mr. Mustache! Ah, I don't believe this! Vivian, this is, without a doubt, all your fault! I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh yes, I promise you that! What? That's not fair! You're the one who had the... Silence, you squirrel brain! Don't cop that insolent attitude with me! This is not fair! And about that necklace? I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more! Aww! So, Beldum is being mean to her little sister. And clearly, we are going to have to defeat those evil bad guys if we want to find that necklace. Let's see, do I have everything filled up? It looks like I have all my FP and all my HP, except for one HP, but that's really not worth spending seven coins just to fill up on one health point. So I'll just try to avoid all the enemies here as I make my way to the boss battle. Right, Quick Hammer! Actually, let's do a different badge. 
I don't know. Quick hammer. Seems like a nice badge, right? Attacks all the ground enemies. You know what? I think I should also equip maybe that fire hammer. Where was it? Fire drive. Alright, okay. So I think using all of those special FP moves will definitely be enough for me to win the boss battle against the three Shadow Sirens. Okay, try to dodge these enemies. Try to dodge them. Oh! Oh no! See, there's a problem. If I stay to fight all those enemies, there's a good chance I will lose um, some HP and not be prepared for the boss battle. Here we go, boss battle. Yes, that does sound suspicious. It's almost like they're evil villains. Have you talked to Princess Peach or something? Who are you anyway? We are... The three... Shadow Beauties! The three Shadow Beauties? Baby, and you nincompoop! What are you babbling about? It's Shadow Sirens! I don't see three beauties! I see two, but then there's you, and you're plug ugly! Ouch! Ouch! Vivian! Aw, oh, poor Vivian. Vivian's in trouble. So, one strategy is basically attacking the sisters one at a time. Say, like, maybe you start off with Marilyn, and then you move on to Vivian, and then you move on to Velma. But my strategy here is going to be to attack them all at the same time. Oh, what a waste of an attack! Wow, that attack missed completely! Mario, bad job there! Now I'm all out of FP too, so I won't be able to do another FP attack. Fortunately, the enemies are attacking Koops, who is the strongest, right? Oh, hey, and I have the item which refills HP. I mean, refills FP. Let's use it. Okay, this time I'm not gonna fill with Fire Drive. Good, good. Very good. Ouch! Ooh, now they're actually fighting. Ouch, that's not good. Fortunately, the fire has killed Vivian. Looks like Marilyn is the only one left. Um, aw oh man, I still need some, uh, extra FP in order to do the brand new Quake move that I just got, so let's get some FP. And, um, the curtains at the top are making it a little bit difficult for me to see where the things are that I'm aiming at. Oh, wow! 
Well, now she's huge. And now she's dead. Okay, well, I guess I didn't get a chance to show off the Quake Attack move. Oh well. It was a simple enough battle, just a couple of moves which attack all of the enemies at once, and uh, they're easily defeated. And we just got the necklace. Alright. So now we have to go all the way back to Flurry in order to give her the necklace. And maybe along the way I will get in a fight on purpose just so I can show you what the Quake Hammer looks like. Yeah, let's, let's start this battle. Sort of a useless battle to do the Quake Hammer for, but no matter. Quake Hammer attacks all the enemies that are on the ground. I think the Cleft is the only enemy that is on the ground, so that's why it's sort of useless to use the FP on that attack. But I mean, as you saw, it's clearly more powerful than Mario's normal attack. It does two more damage than Mario's normal attack, unless I'm mistaken. So that's why it's useful. And of course it's useful because it attacks all the enemies instead of just one. Aw oh, man. Failure. Sort of a somewhat difficult challenge as a paper airplane. Here we go. Alright, so that's basically it. This is basically it for the chapter. Not the chapter, but basically it's for the video. We met Madame Fleury, we fought the Shadow Sirens, we got the necklace, and Madame Fleury is going to join our party. Have a disco ball. And this is Flurry! Um, the wind spirit. She's purple. Mario, are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. Perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? Here I come, handsome. Time to give you a proper thank you. Fuck her up. Oh, poor Mario. Aw, oh, Mario. Mario has collapsed. move is blowing out wind. Just hold down X like this and she blows out wind. That's her special move. That's, that's basically it. She can also do a body slam, which is helpful. Um, next time I'm in a battle, I'll actually show you what that attack looks like. 
can't we go inside here? What is going on with Punio there? Um, he was like, going left and right. I think we can go inside Flurry's room, so... Let me try again. Maybe you have to leave her house and then return? Yeah, you have to leave her house. Okay, that's... odd. But I saw a treasure chest. More star power! Alright! Let's equip that badge. Whoa! Does that slow down? Interesting. Oh well, let's just return to the Bogley Tree, and now that we have Flurry, she will be able to find the hidden entrance. Didn't mean to fall down a pit. Alright, so here's a battle. Let's just try out Flurry's attacks. Her first attack is this one. If we want to move the control stick left and right to get the thing in the middle of the target. Shrunk. Now we can't really attack enemies. Okay, well, let's try this attack anyway. Attacks all enemies with a gust of wind. Press and release A with perfect timing. When do I press it? Oh, I hold down on A or something? Well, that's a confusing attack. I have no idea how to use that attack. Um. Um. Yeah, that was, that was just plain confusing, and now I need to heal. Alright, now our heroes are back to a normal size. And I got an email. Let's hope it's an important email. No, it's not. It's RDM. Um, RDM. Report something. You're completely useless. Don't bother to read those emails. I mean, sometimes you get interesting emails, but the RDM, uh, some sort of magazine or something, it's not worth your time. Really, really, it's not. What's this area over here? There's something here, right? Right, great! And we have to use her power to say, blow away the hidden entrance. Hmm. Okay, I think we have to go up here. Ah, here we go, here we go. That's the secret entrance. We can finally get inside. Here I go. Go. Wow, I'm not very expressive when I do that voice. Mario, I feel I must ask, do you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva of the stage. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. Soon enough, I love these punies.
Mario, can you hear me? Check it out. I was able to open it from the inside. Come on, over here. The time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. Alright, so we made it to the Bogley Tree, and this is basically the dungeon of this chapter. Uh-huh, weird. Normally everybody's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder, everybody! Come out! Hello? Nobody's here. Uh-oh, villains! Villains are here! Alright, so let's fight these villains. As I recall, these villains aren't too powerful. I think they only have 4 HP. Oh my goodness. And as you can see, we have fog everywhere, so we really can't see much of anything. So that makes the battle kind of difficult. Use special moves and items. Ouch! So you'll notice the enemies are missing me just as much as I am missing the enemies, thanks to the fog. And the fog is gone, so that doesn't really matter. Let's just kill this x not really quick. make everyone leave. Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come out for Pete's sake. I found us a powerful ally. He, he's huge. Uh, are you sure your huge mustachioed man won't try to eat us? Huh? Hey, who's that? Who else is back there? Oh wow, we found the punies. Nice stash! Yeah, Mario is going to stomp on all the bad guys, so don't worry, punies. How do we really know this burly fellow is our ally? He might be one of them. Juniper, what do you say? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase those goons out of here. If we can take back our tree, we can take back our homes. Huh, <laughs> big bad cutie, oh, listen to yourself, trying to sound all work like. You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through. So this fat guy is kind of giving us trouble. have been captured by the villains. We'll have to save the punies while defeating the villains and finding the crystal star.
Alrighty, so that is going to be it for this video. See you next time, everybody.